This story will not be a surprise to you if you live in Lewiston. Something weird is taking over some shrubs in the area. News 4's Kaylee Wentz looked into the mystery. Kaylee? Christy, it's a mystery no longer. A creepy looking caterpillar is what's to blame for this web like structure showing up on trees and shrubs on Upper Mountain Road in Lewiston. And it looks like the tree uh, kind of built its own veil. Neighbors and people from all over the town of Lewiston have noticed a white web like substance on shrubs near Mount St. Mary's Hospital. At the beginning, I thought somebody is pulling a hoax, um, but it looks like it's an insect. It turns out a special type of tent caterpillar that turns into an ermine moth is what's responsible for the web. While some may think the webs are spooky, Cheryl Tyndall, curator for the Butterfly Conservatory, said the opposite. They're absolutely spectacular, and really anybody living in the area should go out and take a look at this because it is something they're not going to see very often. That's why many lifelong Western New Yorkers have never seen the phenomenon before. You almost need the perfect storm to actually get to see that kind of um, structure being formed. What is the perfect storm? A mild winter, a warm spring, and a hot summer. But how do the caterpillars create such a web? Well, you have little colonies joining on to other colonies um, of eggs to make this massive, elaborate structure. The web itself is, is, a, is basically a home for it to survive in and, and feed itself safely. And these caterpillars don't just choose any tree to do so. They are very particular, similar to human beings. A lot of them feed only on one or two different types of plants or maybe a, a, a selection of a small selection of different plants. So that particular moth, if I'm correct in its identification, only feeds on that particular tree. So I'm I'm guessing if you went underneath all that webbing, you would find a type of spindle euonymus. If you're lucky enough to see one of these webs around town, stop and take a minute to look at one of nature's little miracles. In Lewiston, Kaylee Went, News 4. Tindall says you can expect to see the moths emerging out of their webs by mid to late June. In the newsroom, Kaylee Went, News 4. Kaylee, great.